Crash Course Instrumentation EP19 Resistance The most overlooked, most misunderstood component in every circuit. Intro Let's talk about resistance. Not the kind that slows you down in life, though it kind of does that too. Every electrical system, from an RTD to a multi-loop controller, deals with resistance. It's the basic building block that determines how current behaves in response to voltage. And if you saw our last episode on series and parallel, you already know resistance controls, how current divides, and where energy drops. Fun fact, the concept of resistance dates back to the early 19th century, when Georg Simon Ohm published his famous law in 1827, showing that current is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. His work was initially rejected by the scientific community, but now every tech knows his name. What is resistance? Resistance is the opposition to current flow. It's measured in ohms O oh, and it exists in everything, even wires. In real life, every conductor has some resistance, but we also design in resistance on purpose. Resistors let us drop voltage, limit current, Convert energy into heat. Set bias points in analog circuits. Create timing with capacitors. Pull up or pull down logic signals. Resistance is how we control power and protect equipment. Common resistor types. Fixed resistors are everywhere. Those tiny tan cylinders with color bands. But not all resistors are created equal. Flame-proof resistors protect circuits from overheating. Fusible resistors double as fuses. Variable resistors, a.k.a. potentiometers or rheostats, let you tune a signal. Wire-wound resistors can handle high power. RTDs and NTC thermistors change resistance with temperature. Precision resistors are used in instrumentation where exact values matter. You've probably used these in loops, alarms, calibration setups, or when tuning analog circuits. Reading resistance values... Most resistors are marked with color codes. First two bands equals digits. Third band equals a multiplier. Fourth band equals tolerance, usually gold or silver. Pro tip, use a digital meter to verify. It's easy to mix up red and orange. Large industrial resistors are labeled numerically instead, often in ohms, kilohems, KO, or megohms, MO. In the field, Always confirm with a meter before replacing or specifying components. Label errors and aging can throw off assumptions. Symbols, US versus IEC. Schematic symbols vary depending on where you are. And in the USA, the, the zigzag line is the standard in North America, ANSI NEMA. The rectangle is used by the IEC and most of Europe. Both mean resistor, but context matters. Adjustable resistors may have an arrow or diagonal line. Variable types like potentiometers include a third terminal. Make sure you match the symbol to the component in the field. Historical note. The zigzag resistor symbol originated from early wire-based resistors, which were coiled and zigzagged to control resistance and heat. The rectangle came later as the resistor design modernized. Power rating and real-world use resistors don't just resist, they dissipate energy. That means heat. If your resistor is rated for one quart or watt and you push it too hard, it can drift in value, break down, or worse, catch fire. Always check wattage ratings and derate for temperature and enclosure space. Rule of thumb, never run a resistor above 50-60% of its rated power in continuous operation. Real world example, in episode 18, we showed a voltage divider made with two resistors. That wasn't just theory. It's how. Thermocouple circuits scale voltage. PLC analog inputs get conditioned. Loop isolators work safely with floating grounds. Resistors are also key in. Transmitter circuits. Filter networks. Current sensing using shunt resistors. Sensor fault detection. Resistors are everywhere, from simple ladder logic pull-ups to complex impedance matching networks. Wrap up. So next time you see a squiggle, or a rectangle on a diagram, you'll know what it means. And more importantly, you'll know why it's there. Resistance isn't just passive. It's intentional control. If this episode helped clarify resistors for you, give us a like and hit that subscribe button.
and check out the next video where we decode international electrical symbols and stop getting lost in translation.